pouvait pas m'avoir parlé.
be more than is that for you and sessions practicing platform engineering by the format to discuss the level your platform needs now on what is our initiative might be this concept practice should be implemented for the platform success collaborating among private stakeholders including CTOs engineering managers and platform product managers is essential the model provides a common knowledge for them that will significantly assist in achieving success. Inside it is an actual model. The market model is represented in a table like this. It includes different aspects of the platform such as investment, adoption, and so on. Of course, it represents the maturity levels, levels itself for each given aspect. For the maturity of the specific platform initiative in your organization is represented by a set of five levels for each aspect. Now, let's go through five each aspect means one by one. The first thing you find is the investment. It refers to how the staff and the funds are updated to platform capability. For example, when the platform mature and offers rich functionalities such as health service capabilities like fund services, it becomes necessary to invest in the organization and funding to maintain the platform. For the platform success, it requires appropriate investment relative to its scale and quality. The next thing is the adoption. It refers to why and how users discover and use ID tools. In the early stage of the platform, developers might learn about it through word of mouth, and the discovering different capabilities might be included. So, the higher the level of this aspect, the more consistent the way to find and incorporate the platform into the development process. This method also gains some motivation for or adapting the platform. Some of you may have seen the situation in which developers are pushed to use platforms to top down forces. However, at the power level, you can recognize the platform's value in adapting with their own will. So we need to think of the internet. This looks at how users interact with and consume platform capability. At the early stage of the platform, it might just be a guide or manual, manual tasks, but it can, it can evolve into helpers, script, and even into a CLI, UI, or API. And additionally, at higher levels, it is also expected to have consistent interface across multiple different capabilities. And operation wise, this looks at how platform and their capabilities are planned, prioritized, developed, and maintained. In the early stage of this aspect, the platform might be helping developers create out of necessity, often a frontier basis. On the other hand, at the higher level, the platform is being improved in a planned and strategic manner and a thought governor. And additionally, when an upgrade to the 
platform is a layer. The platform team might provide micro plans and support for users. The final one is a measurement. This is a process for gathering and incorporating feedback and learning. Feedback feedback on the platform is a job of both user satisfaction and the platform's sustainability. The aspect includes how appreciated the methods are for collecting feedback and how well these feedbacks are integrated, integrated into the platform strategy. Conclusion is an overview of the aspects. As you have seen, platform initiatives requires considering various factors beyond the technology. And the maturity model prevents stakeholders from overlooking these factors in time context. So now let's look at the gaps in the model. Which represent the maturity levels themselves. As you might expect, the higher the level, the more organized and the the platform initiative becomes. However, it's essential to recognize that higher levels require more funding and proper time. Therefore, the goal should not be to aim for a higher level. To find a necessary and sufficient level for your organization. Now let's take a closer look at the cells in the model. For example, if you look at the cell for level 3 in the interface aspect, it is labeled for service solutions. The following is an except of the definition of solution taken from the maturity model document. The of the model table has a corresponding definition like this. And each definition includes three elements like this. The characteristics section is protected when assessing your platform's maturity level. This section is the specific character the platform should possess at the level. Finally, by looking at the characteristics of higher levels, you can identify what to aim for to develop the platform further. However, it's important, it's important to note that this maturity model does not require you to meet all characteristics at a specific level. In most cases, you will likely find several characteristics across multiple levels. And there's no problem. There's no need to adhere to a particular level strictly. So that was an overview of the maturity model. At that point, it's important to main mention that the second level and characteristics should be different depending on each platform or organization. Therefore, it's essential to understand your organizational context and strictly incorporate the model into your platform strategy. So that was the of the platform engineering maturity model. Now we are going to have a look at how to define the journey of a platform engineering initiative. What exactly is the journey of platform engineering? <laughs> Let me know that this concept is not present in the maturity model. However, I recommend including it to utilize the maturity model effectively in your platform. The journey defines a path to realizing a platform that generates a targeted business value. And it involves setting the goals of platform initiatives and identifying the specific efforts required.
ヶ月は賃貸。Maybe sit down to planning or creating a roadmap in a typical software project. However, creating the maturity model ensures incorporating value p r o s p e c t and take it into more concept and more concrete actions. Now let's look at the step to define the job. First, the checkpoint for your platform initiative. The first checkpoint for your platform initiative. A first checkpoint determines the maturity level and key characteristics that should be achieved. At the minimum, you should establish the first step of the platform with the final desired state as checkpoint. Then, from the gap in maturity between checkpoints, the client puts the efforts are needed to reach the next checkpoint. The maturity model clearly applies the specific characteristics at each level for each aspect. So, by comparing these, you should be able to identify what is required. And then, at first glance, it might be Like we are doing something so simple, yet a t t a c is. The key point is this journey is only adding the time dimension to the maturity model. The maturity model empowers us to draw the concrete platform in and understanding what efforts are required to reach our goals. I just mentioned that this process is very simple, but there are a few more points to consider regarding checkpoints. First, let's add appropriate checkpoints between the start and the goal. This approach allows you to progress incrementally through the execution of small steps. And it makes it easier to manage and propose the progress of platform initiative. Next, regarding the top point, it should be a small but meaningful and valuable platform. For example, if you could offer the platform of the top point to a limited number of users, you can move forward to implement based on the product. And you can steadily grow the platform. Finally, when determining the maturity level for each checkpoint, you should carefully consider the organization's goals, relying on unrealistic investment plans, or providing only a GUI to an organization that strongly focuses on line interface. So, finally, let's take a closer look at how to define the journey and proceed on it. By reviewing an example of a platform our team is working on. First, let me briefly introduce our platform. This is the foundation for deploying, learning, and operating web applications with minimal effort. As shown in this example, we can deploy an application container with a simple command. And an HTTP endpoint is automatically created, making it immediately accessible. In addition to this, our platform offers various capabilities that can be integrated. To address a wide range of use cases and the vision of security of application. The provides a lot of services to customers. The platform is designed with much tenacity and sufficient scalability in mind, enabling it to hold its services. We anticipate that the number of application ports. 
in this session, but if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Let's just go through the brief introduction to our platform. And let's go through the journey of our platform. What I'd like to know is that the development of this platform began seven years before the maturity model was published. So the journey I will introduce here is hypothetical. However, this it is based on a real world platform example. I believe it will serve as a case study for you later. the goal checkpoint. At this stage, the 
y es como un fuerte y dinámica por otro apoyo que es el también un mensaje Jumping to the button shop. 